Many of our congregations are discussing ways to return to their buildings for worship, and I am glad and grateful for all of that. In fact, I'd hope to send a lighthearted video to you highlighting a few things to remember once you get back to your buildings. But as I was in the midst of writing that reflection, two things have occurred in the last few days that I feel compelled to, to say a word or two about with you. The first is the horrible and unexplainable killing of, of George Floyd in Minnesota. Secondly is the, is the crossing of a terrible threshold of 100,000 lives lost to the pandemic in, in just the U.S. alone. I would planned to, to send you a, a playful message about worship and a spirit of joy in the midst of that, and, and that will come in the next few days. Sometimes worship involves lament and, and mourning. Sometimes it involves the cry for justice in God's world. This is not about what we get. This is about what we give to God's world. It is a world that is groaning and is broken. We are the church. We are those that have been empowered and entrusted with the fire of love and justice. So let's not keep our fire under the bushel basket of our buildings. Let's commit our lives to actively engaging in ways to dismantle racism in our society and sometimes even in our own lives. Let's check out the work of our Commission on Racial Reconciliation. Attend one of their workshops. Look at all the good work they're doing and get involved in that. And, and wherever you are this Sunday, Take some time to pray. Pray for George Floyd, his family. Pray for the fire of God's mercy and righteousness to set us on fire, to speak out and to stand up against all that is wrong. And on Monday, carve out some time to join in this national day of prayer for mourning and lament. Let's hold up the light of Christ for those who've died in this pandemic and for their families. I guess what I'm trying to say is let's not just get so focused on the ways to get to church. Let's continue to find ways to be the church. In that spirit, let us pray the colic from our prayer book for the human family. O oh God, you have made us in your own image and redeemed us through your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts break down the walls that separate us and bind us together in love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth that in your good time all nations, all peoples, all races may serve you in harmony and peace around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.